move about like they do when they're in a Volvo because the, the mounts are set vertically on that side. This side is similar to the Volvo angle but the mounts are sort of pointing forward as well so they're a bit more solid than they are on a Volvo. Well the engine's a bit more solid than it is but it's Volvo. Should be bearing him on the way. 110 kilos. It doesn't bloody move. I might end up putting a piece of metal, like a 6mm plate or something, in there to stand that off. So we'll get there. I'll just make a bit more uh, clearance on that because I've, I've I mean, I knew it was going to be close, but a bit closer than I wanted it. So that's it, the engine's in. Next phase, fuel. So I got the fuel tank off the other day, and I'm going to need, need a clean up. Amazingly, it hasn't got any paint on it at all. No paint. So I will rub it all down, wire brush, wire wheel it all off, clean it up, Genelite, paint it. But whilst I'm doing that, what I'm going to do is I've got to install a fuel pump in the tank. This is a Volvo fuel pump. It comes with a, it's an LH 2.4 fuel pump. It's an in-tank pump. Low pressure is to supply the main pump, which is a Bosch. Bosch 044 which is a high pressure very good quality pump the accumulator and the pump are fixed on this carriage which goes under the Volvo in a normal setting let's make sure it's still recording yep. so what I need to do this is the uh, sensor obviously the fuel level sensor up down floaty potentiometer on there that, um, sits in there like that so what I've got to do there's no room to fit a fuel pump in there as well so what I'm going to do is cut another hole in there I've bought myself a nice new hole saw I've got one already that size of three inch but it's fallen out so um, I've bought a new one save me the hassle I'll get that on the old uh, drill press cut a nice hole in there I've got some plate steel make a new a new cover I'm going to um, reinforce around the edge uh, by making two semicircular plates that will go inside. I'll clamp the whole lot together, drill through six holes. I've got some riv nuts and a riv nut machine, a riv nut uh, tool on the way, which is um, going to be the way I fasten the whole thing together nice and smart, proper fucking way to do it fix it together nicely and I'll, I'm not sure whether to use Hylomar, blue Hylomar which is petrol resistant sealant or I've got some around here somewhere, some neoprene sheet, I think it's a three or four mil thick neoprene seal which will form a good seal there, might make a new seal to be honest for that as well. I think we would just be able to buy one. We can probably just buy them. I think they're the same as Austin or Austin Mini. If anyone can let me know, or Leyland maybe. I don't know. I've got one here somewhere, but it's made of cork. I mean, it's lasted for years. Where is it? I don't know, even know where it's gone. It was in a bag hanging up somewhere. I might make a new one. A little, just a little circular shape seal with some holes in it so that's my next move tomorrow now i've got the engine and gearbox fixed in place tomorrow what i'm going to do is take the is take some measurements off the prop shaft because the prop shaft has got to be shortened and i've got to have um the volvo um, oh, 
Jesus. <coughs> the Volvo uh, prop shaft, the front end of that, has got to be welded on to the existing prop shaft on the van. There is a centre bearing on there, on the van, and there's a UJ behind the centre bearing, and then that goes on to the diff with another UJ, obviously. So there's a company in Wolverhampton called Shelley Transmissions, which I'm going to go and try. See, well, I'll take the whole thing over. I've already contacted them. They want to see it before they can give me a quote, and I don't really want to get it done without getting a quote first. Because if I, if, you know, if they turn up and they say, "Yeah, that's 800 quid," that will be a bit of a shock. But I don't think it'll be that much. I'm guessing it's going to be about the morning's work, 50 quid an hour, maybe 60 quid an hour. So two to 300 quid. I'll be happy with that. We'll have to see. Time will tell. I will do an update again tomorrow. Keep on trucking.